ហើយវាទៅក្រៃព្រីវីលេជ្ជើពេលណាជុំវិញវិភពលោកគឺ whether I worship with God's people in England or Sri Lanka. When I worship with the great company of God's people who live in Cambodia. I always find the love of God pours out into our hearts. So thank you for the privilege of worshipping with you this morning. I'm always amazed that the Lord would give me the opportunity to speak in situations like this. I'm genuinely humbled by the privilege that he gives to me to be able to share his word. And so when I come to times like this, I treat it with great honor and respect. So through the month of December, I've been asking the Lord, what was it or what is it that he wanted me to share this morning? And as I was preparing, I felt like the Lord has given me a word of wisdom for New Life Fellowship for 2020. Even up till yesterday, I wasn't quite sure, but when I had lunch with Pastor Samadhi and Navi, and when they were talking about their love for you, I realized that God had actually given me a word for you. And so I'll do my very best to give it to you, but it's up to you that you discern whether it's from the Lord or not. So let's pray that the Holy Spirit would help me. Help me, God. Amen. That's my beautiful wife up there. Tomorrow we will have been married for 41 years. <laughs> so I'm flying home tomorrow to do the right thing. <laughs> what an incredible privilege it is for us to be able to trust the Lord. Whilst I am privileged to trust the Lord, I'm even more amazed that He trusts me. God asks you to put your trust in Him, but the incredible thing is that He puts His trust in you. So 
He trusts you to represent Jesus well to your family, to your neighborhood, to your workmates. He trusts you to represent his kingdom wherever it is that you are on any given day. The God of heaven and earth believes in you. The God of heaven and earth sees greatness inside of you. And it's his great joy by the Holy Spirit to bring that greatness out of you that you would change the world. Jesus not only invites you to change the world, but he invites you to change yourself. The question I want to explore this morning is how does that come to pass? How is it possible that we would join ourselves to his trust in us to represent him well. Let's turn to Genesis chapter 1. And verses 26 to 28. ព្រះជាម្ចាស់មានព្រះបន្ទូលថាយើងបង្កើតមនុស្សជាដំណាងរបស់យើងមានលក្ខណៈដូចយើងដើម្បីឲ្យគេមានអំណាចលើត្រី
wasn't good enough. Come on, let's get excited. We are made in the image of God. And again. <laughs> Again, Because we are lords, we are powerful. In our DNA, we want to rule and we want to subdue. We are made. We are made to rule, and we are made to subdue. We are made to rule over a dominion, over a domain. So the question is, how are we going to rule? Everything inside of us wants to be in control. Everything inside of us wants to make things right. Everything inside of us wants to be right. Those motivations come because we have been made to rule and to subdue. Just as God is the Lord and He rules the whole universe, He has made us lords with a little L to rule in our world. So the question is, how are we going to rule? Let's turn to Genesis chapter 2. Uh, verse 15 to 17. លោកបាទចំពោះពីខដាប់ប្រាំដល់ខដាប់ប្រាំពីព្រះជាអង្គម្ចាស់បានបញ្ជាមនុស្សដូចតតើអ្នកអាចបរភោគផ្លែឈើ
ก็ปัญตายเปรียจิมจ้าตายแต่จังเอายื่นปราปราหนึ่งสาบจวบหนึ่งเพียบจิมจ้าระบายยื่นจิมวยหนึ่งเพียบจิมจ้าระบายฟังเปรียจิมจ้า So the story of Adam and Eve is that the devil turned up in the garden and wanted them to choose to follow. His lordship and to abandon God's lordship. ดูชิเน่บอกยังยังดังต่างอักเนียหายอมปีไซเรื่องระบาดดำนังเอวาเนกนองซูนุชินมีซาตังบันโจมกนองซูนุชินระบวงดำนังเอวาหายอดำนังเอวาบันเงี้ยใบโจโจนเพียบจิมจ่าบอกล้วนตะการเมียจีเจียงโจโจนเพียบจิมจ่าบอกล้วนตะการเปรียบจิมจ่า So Adam and Eve used their lordship to take all of us into the kingdom of darkness. ดูชิเน่อดำนังเอวาบันปราบเนื้อเพียบเชี่ยมจ้าบอกล้วนน้อมยืนทางออกเหนียวเตาโจเตากนองอาณาจักรเงินจุ่มนู้นเอาไปเชี่ยนจ้าบอกฟังเปล่า So before coming to Christ we've learnt to use the power of our lordship to suit the kingdom of darkness โดยเช่นเนี่ยมุ่งเป็นได้ยืนเตาตัวเชื่อเลยพระเยซูคริสต์ยืนรู้เนื้อนองชีวิตได้อาหนวัดเนื้อเพียบเชี่ยมจ้าบอกยืนเนื้อนองอาณาจักรเงิน Now that we are Christians, we're learning to turn our lordship to come underneath the dominion of God's lordship. ก็เป็นแต่เนื้อเพลย์ยังตัวตัวเชื่อเลยพระเยซูคริสต์ยังคลายตัวเชื่อคริสต์บริสัทธิ์หายยังมันเชื่อเยี่ยมเตียงหายยังรู้เนื้อขนมชีวิตแต่ปราบปราเพียบชีมจ่าระบายยังเนื้อขนมริจีนจ่าระบายฟังเปรียชีมจ่าวิ่ง But one of the great challenges we face is that we've been used to using our lordship under the rule of the kingdom of darkness. ก็เป็นแต่ When we were all growing up, there are times where we were afraid, where fear came into our lives. นับเป็นอะไรยังจำรานไปล้างเป็นอะไรยังจูบนับสกายเผยคลายนับขนมชีวิตบางยัง We had to use our lordship to manage our fear. ยังเราแต่ปราบปราอำนาจได้ปราอองตรงกับกรุ๊ปปราอองปฏิญาณยังนับเพียบเชื่อมจานเนี่ยดำไปกรุ๊ปกรองนับเพียบให้คลายตัวบางยัง In the kingdom of darkness, we're taught to manage our fear by being angry, by being in control, by using our power to hurt other people. นับน้องเพียบงงงัดนับน้องริจีนจักรหรือก็อำนาจจักรงงงัดได้ยังทลอบรู้เนื้อนับเป็นได้ยังจูบนับสกได้ให้คลาย So when somebody rejects us or we feel like we're failing, it causes fear to arise in us, and we use our lordship to control our fear by getting angry or blaming other people. ดูชิเน่เนเปิลได้นนามเนี่ยทเวอร์เอายังขังเนเปิลได้นนามเนี่ยทเวอร์เอายังชื่อจับจีบบัตรบอกยังรู้นักน้องอาณาจักรเงินเยื่อหนังเชี่ยยิ้มกรุบกรองกลุ่นไอ้ปลากรมหังเพื่อเอาเนี่ยดตัวชื่อจับมันจมูกดำไปซองสักมัน But now as Christians when we face fear Jesus asks us to use our lordship to turn it towards trusting Him and exercising kindness โดยเช่นเนื้อขนมเนียมเยื่อจิกรีบอสันเนื้อขนมปริจบอกฟองเปรียชิมจ้าเนื้อเป็ดได้ยื่นจูบเนื้อสิกได้ไพ่คลาย When we're rejected or when we feel like we're failing, it causes fear in us. Now, as Christians, we can choose to come under the lordship of Jesus, or we can stay under the lordship that we learnt in the kingdom of darkness. The fear that we experience when we're rejected or failing is meant to be governed by God. That we say, "I trust you that you're going to work all of this out, and it's all going to be good. I will love the people around me." ดูเช่นเราไปได้ยังชั่วเราตกลงมาแต่งอ่อนนี่พระเยซูหาเยื่อเอาเยื่อโจโจ้ตะการพระองค์หนึ่งตุกจัดพระองค์ทับพระองค์ขยมโจโจจมูกหนึ่งพระองค์สมช่วยขยมเอาเมียนจัดสับบาร
จมปูเนี่ยได้ทั่วข้อหนึ่งยมจุ่มนู้อ้อยกาอ้อยกำหังเหม่ We're like a sailing boat. ยังก็โดยเจตุกดาวมวย The wind of life comes to our sails. กึ่งชอบเบาเบาบอกปากดาวตุกระบายเย็น The wind of life brings good things and difficult things. กึ่งชอบในจีบบันเบาเบาน้ำยกนกาลอกาเกาะแตงไลบอกปากดาวตุกระบายเย็น A sailing boat also has a rudder. The rudder is like our power, is like our lordship. If we turn our lordship, if we turn our rudder towards the old way of dealing with fear, we will not represent Jesus well. But if we turn our rudder, our lordship, and say, "Jesus, I surrender to your lordship and turn towards God," we will represent Him very well. Do you know? Go and say, "No, but I just jump, no, jump, bow, 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 just by, just go, just by, just in the sun, I'm not, just by, just pierce, just by, just by, just go, go, just by, just pierce, just by, 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 You are a powerful person. You have not been called to be pushed around by the winds of life. As God's people, we're called to use our lordship, our power, to come under the lordship of Jesus and see Him rule and reign over our lives. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> I want you to say after me, I am a powerful person. I am a Lord. I am a powerful person and I am a Lord. My word of wisdom for you in 2020 Is that you choose to take your lordship and choose to take your power and surrender it to the lordship of Christ? When you feel angry, I want you to make a choice to turn your rudder towards trusting God and the kindness of God. When you feel that you need to be right, I want you to turn your rudder towards humility and allow the Holy Spirit to show you how to love the other person, not to prove that they're bad. ទៅសូមឲ្យលោកអ្នកបងប្អូនបាយចង្កូលរបស់លោកអ្នកបងប្អូនចោះចូលជាមួយនឹងព្រះអង្គសូមព្រះអង្គថាព្រះអង្គស
ลกอิสระนึ่งลกยากบเชียบเปียบรอระบาเนี่ย Life is full of choices. Every day we face the opportunity to choose how we're going to respond. I'm here with my son David. Can you welcome him? We arrived here on New Year's Eve. We had the great pleasure of staying at Cindy's house. We had the had the great pleasure of the next door neighbours playing music so the whole neighbourhood could hear. We also had the pleasure of the next door neighbours playing music so the whole neighbourhood could hear. David nang lên đan tray. Okay, 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 xong, xong tôi được. Okay, dương có sắp lư đan tray chung với nhà nẹ nẹ chân kháng bao dương chạ lư lư thông ba. Rồi ok, nhầm rút kịch đại. Boom, boom, boom. Ba, nâng ngay bốn chân lòng chân nam cái thơ chân. Yeah, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, boom, boom, boom. The music was very loud. And it was so loud, it was making Cindy's house shake. I had a choice. Was I going to bless those that were cursing us? Or was I going to feel love in my heart towards them? Was I going to make them the bad guys that I wanted to punish? Or was I going to choose to see that they were good people who were just making a stupid mistake? Was I going to turn my rudder towards anger? Or was I going to turn my rudder towards patience? Hmm. What choice did I make? You'll never know. Every day we face choices. The winds of life blow into the sails that we have up. We are lords and we are powerful and we can turn our rudder towards God or we can turn it towards what we want. Adam and Eve were in the garden and they had two trees. The devil turned up with wind to try and turn them to choose to eat from the wrong tree. They could have chosen to turn towards God and say, God, what do you think about this idea that the devil's giving us? They didn't turn and ask God his point of view. They didn't bring their lordship under his lordship. They exercised their lordship by turning away from God's lordship and giving themselves to doing something God had said they were not to do. We are made in the image of God, we are powerful people, and we get to choose, will I surrender my lordship to Jesus, 
or will I surrender my lordship to myself and the works of darkness? Jeung trau ban bang kaat mok ao mien lak kana do chi preh chi ma cha. Jeung trau ban bang kaat mok ao mien am naach nong kong ka chrueh rueh tha ta khnyom chrueh rueh chos chol chi muoi nong am naach sat am naach robas phong preh chi ma cha rueh ko khnyom chrueh rueh da tam phlaup to khluon robas khnyom. The Lord said the same thing to Moses today I put in front of you life and death. Preh chi ma cha trong mien preh ban tu mok kan lok Mose Today I put in front of you a choice. To Adam and Eve, he said, I put in front of you a choice. On New Year's Eve, I had a choice that was put in front of me. Every day we have choices about how we're going to use our power and our lordship. How we use our power and our lordship determines whether we represent Jesus and his kingdom well or whether we represent ourselves and the kingdom of darkness. Let's go to John chapter 14. ខ្ញុំនឹងទូលអង្គប្រាប់បៃតាហើយត្រង់ប្រទៀនព្រះដ៏ជួយការពៀមួយអង្គទៀតឲ្យគង់ God knows that these choices that we face are difficult sometimes. God knows the choices that he asks us to make can be very challenging. God asks us to love our enemies. For most of us, we would choose not to love our enemies. Most of us would choose to hurt our enemies. Because we're used to exercising our lordship in the kingdom of darkness before we come to faith, we very naturally want to hurt people rather than to love people. But because we are powerful people, we can actually turn our decision making towards the Lordship of Christ. But God doesn't expect us to do it on our own. God knew it would be difficult. God knows that it's difficult for us to learn how to represent him and represent his kingdom well. So like every good father, he wanted to help in our difficulty and he said he would come and live in us 
so that we'd have another helper to do what God wants us to do. Adam and Eve made the wrong choice because they didn't turn to God the Father and ask Him His opinion. When we make the wrong choice, it's because we haven't asked God His opinion or we're not listening to what God's opinion is. We choose to use our lordship and our power for what suits us rather than using our lordship and power to surrender to God's lordship. Jesus said he would send us another helper, one who would live inside of us that we could commune with. So on New Year's Eve, I'm lying in my bed and I'm asking the Holy Spirit, what choice should I make? The Holy Spirit is saying that I should bless the people next door. But everything inside of me wants to go and shout at them to tell them to turn the music off. Everything inside of me is saying, stop being bad people and let me sleep. But if I'd done that, I wouldn't have represented Jesus well, I would have just represented my anger well. And so the Holy Spirit is saying to me, I want you to bless them. And I'm saying, I don't want to bless them. You bless them. You tell them to turn the music on. We all face these choices in life. Will I be a humble person? Will I be a forgiving person? Will I be kind? Will I be patient? Will I be full of joy? The choice is mine. I can turn my power and my lordship towards Jesus who lives in me and say, God, help me to be this person. Let's read Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. ចំពោះពីខមអភ័យកលោះចំពោះពីដូច្នេះមិនមែនខ្ញុំទៀតទេដែលរស់នៅគឺព្រះគ្រីស្ទតែដែលមានព្រះជនរស់នៅក្នុ
There are times where we need to pray and we look up to heaven, but there are other times where we need to pray and look into the one who lives inside of us. Paul said it was no longer I who live, but Christ who lives within me. And Paul was saying, I'm learning to live by faith to talk to the one who lives within me. And I'm learning to live by faith to rely on the one who lives within me. I'm learning how to take my lordship and turn it underneath his lordship so I represent him well. I'm convinced that every one of you want to represent Jesus well. I'm convinced that you want to represent the kingdom of God. You want to represent Jesus well in your neighborhood. You want to in your school or your university. In your workplace and when you go shopping. With your family or with your children or with your spouse. I believe that you want to be humble and kind and patient. But we become those people as we surrender our lordship and our power to his lordship and his power. As New Life Fellowship comes into 2020, I believe the Holy Spirit is asking you to become a powerful person in the kingdom of God. I believe the Holy Spirit is wanting you to take your Lordship and learn more than you ever have before about how to surrender it to His Lordship. I believe the Holy Spirit wants to help you to change the choices that you have made when you experience fear. When you are rejected by people and you fear that they don't love you, I believe the Holy Spirit wants to help you not to choose to hurt them or to punish them, but to choose to love them and to bless them. When you fail, I believe the Holy Spirit's wanting to help you not to choose to be afraid that people will think that you're hopeless, but to choose to believe that God always thinks that you're marvelous. ແລະលោកអ្នកបងប្អូនមានអារម្មណ៍ថាមនុស្សដទៃទៀតគិតថាយើងបរាជ័យគិតថាយើងអាអាអាអាអាអាអាអាអាអាអាអាអាអាអា
but you choose to be a person of hope that sees that God is going to do something great. លោកអ្នកបងប្អូនអានឹងមិនមានភាពហើយ I believe that the Holy Spirit will be strangely present amongst you through this year to accelerate your growth into being great followers of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let's all stand. Why is this so important? It's important because Jesus wants us to be like him in the world. The Apostle John said that as Jesus was sent into the world, so are we to be sent into the world. You are a powerful person. You have been made in the image of God. You want to rule and subdue the earth. The decision we need to make will we exercise our lordship and the desire to rule and subdue for ourselves or for Him? Every decision we make is either I'm ruling in my favor or I'm ruling in his favor. As I, am I subduing this situation so that I benefit, or am I subduing this situation so that he benefits? You are called to rule and reign. God gave you the power to rule and reign. But will you use that power for yourself or will you use it for Him? I'd love to pray for you. Holy Spirit, I ask that in the year 2020 the people of New Life Fellowship would discover how to connect their power with your power. I ask you, Lord, to forgive us for using our power for our own benefit. And I thank you, Holy Spirit, that you have made a decision that in 2020 you want to help these people. You want to help this people of God at New Life Fellowship. You want to empower their choices to surrender to you. You want to empower them to yield to you. 
so I thank you, Lord. This is going to be a year of accelerated growth. As you make yourself available to the people of New Life Fellowship. Help us to choose you, Lord, in every situation. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.